right, so there's a lot in this video. We're going to get right to it. First and foremost, just always how the sun shines appropriately when it's supposed to look at its hand, its right hand, and the fingers and the shadows. I think all the shadows in this video match up. I think the sun shines where it's supposed to. Again, case in point, as soon as it starts to touch the sunlight, look, it's there. And then there's the shadow on the ground like it all matches up perfectly. Uh, whoever made this video, if indeed it is a CGI video, they're spot on with it. Uh, again, they don't miss any details. So once it starts to touch the ground, pay attention to not only the ground, the sand moving, but how it defines the toes dragging as well. Again, whoever made this video, if it is fake, is spot on with it. Look, look, look at the toes right there. Um... I don't know how they made this video, if they made this video, but it's so good. I don't know if it's real or not, um, because I don't know what something like this is supposed to look like if it does exist. Um, they're calling this a goblin um, gargoyle. So I'll leave that up to you. Is it a hairless monkey? Uh, is it a monkey that was shaved for the movie or is it not even there at all? I have no idea. But again, look, as soon as the sun needs to be somewhere, it's there. Uh, as soon as the shadow needs to be somewhere, it's there. It moves all perfectly. Um, now, why somebody would go through such trouble uh, in a village in the middle of nowhere to make this video? Maybe for these purposes, I don't know. But again, everything moves how it should move also look how the bag wraps around its tail uh, as it's kind of you know just the impression from the tail i mean the bag moves when it's supposed to and watch right there like it really sat on that bag according to this video watch the bag again look it, it it's it's perfect um, so we're just going to keep on going here. I, I can't say enough about this video. It just moves. So, I mean, they even got the genitalia in this video. I mean, it just moves so well. It looks so good. So it's obviously paranoid. Look how it's looking. Look at the look in its face. Uh, you can see it's clearly, you know, it, it's rattled by the cameraman and it should be, I um, mean, it's an outsider. Um, so it's going to be paranoid. And the reason I bring this up is because you're about to see a reaction. And I think it's a natural reaction, which is amazing. Look, it's already looking at her. So its attention goes from the camera guy immediately to uh, a little girl running towards it. So, of course, it's paranoid. So it's going to think, OK, my guard needs to be a little bit high because this strange person is photographing me. And now somebody is running towards me out the corner of my eye. So it immediately gets defensive. Look at its mouth open up and its hand goes up and it kind of rears back a little bit because it's thinking. I mean, it's thinking the obvious, you know, like something's running towards me when something else is in my face. So I think this is a really good natural reaction, a really good defense mechanism that it's displaying right here. Again, if this video was fake, they didn't miss anything. Um, so, uh, yeah, look at it. And so it, once it realizes that the girl is no threat, it immediately goes back to the camera guy immediately. And then it, again, it starts. It's it's declined. The stick moves around its tail. Um, there's just so many good things about this video. So just let me know what you think. Great video. And as usual.